But what can we do now? There's so many different ones with Pygmalion. Oh, yo-yo. We're going to do a yo-yo build, ladies and gentlemen. Yo-yo builds are insane. What you're hoping for is to get two yo-yos. Because if you have two yo-yos, when you use an adjacent item, you use this. What do you think happens if you have two of them? Your weapons deal 12 more damage. Pretty please. And now we need an item that can trigger this. The bow with multicast would trigger it twice. The heal tree would trigger it also every eight seconds. And we're probably the easiest solution here right now just to get the yo-yo more triggered and just survive longer. We're going to fight the... England. The England does essentially damage every, like, six damage every four seconds, and I heal every five for ten, so I take zero damage. And whenever he heals, it's 17, and then it's 17 again. Now, you can imagine, if I now get that multi-heal item, right? When I get that multi-heal item, that triggers multiple times. That would work good with a yo-yo too, correct? Because you're essentially doing heal, 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 and then it's yo-yo, yo-yo, yo-yo. A very, very interesting way of playing. Okay, we get one fang. And a skill. That would be... Your heal items have crit. Your weapons have crit. Your large. And your heal items have their cooldown reduced. I would reduce heal item cooldown. Because that can never hurt. And I would try to buy another bronze tier skill. And in this case, your heal items have their cooldown reduced by another 4%. Okay. Okay, can I just put that on top? It's this exact same one. Uh, oh, so he just added it. He doesn't. He didn't show it as an upgrade. Okay, <laughs> I was confused for a second. So bird, two yo-yos and weights. A bird and a yo-yo would already be insane together with a weight. Don't even need to have two for that. Okay, he's already out of bullets. I'm not sure what his plan was, Chan. He's essentially out of bullets now. So he only has his Toxic Fang left. The problem is, I think his Toxic Fang might be enough to actually kill us. So this round we're not winning because a yo-yo alone is not enough damage. We're, we're essentially getting fanged. Ow. Is there a certain income gold amount when you start getting economic events and items with hero? I don't know yet. I haven't found a regularity to it. Good. Now, upgrade your leftmost heal item. Gain two income. Have two pro If you have a property, gain two more. Seems like a waste to not just upgrade our income vastly. Now, I do really want small items, but I also want more skills. Because I can always lose right now. But skills, they're, they're too good to have. Hmm. First time you free use a large item, free something. Not helpful. Boost the damage a little bit. I'm not sure if we're a 10 city mayor. We should be able to beat the 10 city mayor. We're not able to beat the Boarior. This one does essentially 10 damage and 30 shield. But due to the money tree actually triggering the yo-yo, we are good. We're winning this. So we can essentially out heal any damage he does. And we can destroy any armor he does. So we're winning the long run. These are not flashy wins. This free to play, it will be. They call me the one. It is not free to play right now. Currently, you would have to buy the Founders Pack for 33. Beware, though, it's highly addicting. So if you start, you're not going to stop. So if you still have a job and a family, then then maybe maybe think twice. But the game is that good. We could get ooh. When you sell a small item, a weapon gains plus two damage. Well, don't mind if I do get a ton of small items, huh? Chan? Let's get another heal and regeneration item, and we're essentially looking to get the bird. You can get the Shuku Lens, because this permanently gains plus one heal, so it just heals every four seconds and gets more heal. Not bad. Oh, wait, that's the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. So this would trigger three times and instantly trigger three times the yo-yo. And these are also the weights. Screw me sideways. I need the weights now. Oh, the weights are perfect. I need to sell the property. Because now you have the weights that get triggered on overhealing. Okay. And then they increase the healing to overheal more. To then trigger the yo-yo more. To then get charged from overhealing. To then trigger more and so on. 
The only sad part is that we had to sell this to make it work. Get two spare change and upgrade all your spare change. If I get two spare change and sell it, this item gets more damage. So we get spare change and we sell the spare change and this one gets stronger. So it's worth it. We're probably going to lose against Pygmalion now, but we have enough space for a property. Now we start the damage. We're going to lose this one. So that's sad because I obviously want to have like the perfect wins. But like we're going to be good enough. So now you have the heals healing and the heal here getting permanent heal too. And again, whenever the weight triggers, the yo-yo goes up and the heal goes up, which is just crazy. So this is like a board, a build that's kind of unstoppable in the long run. And we're actually winning. I'm surprised. But if you get two yo-yos, you anyways win because they just keep triggering each other. Okay, chocolate bars, item, bronze tier junk. No. What I need is a property. Medium items have properties too. It's a gumball machine. At the start of each hour, spend two gold to get a gumball. I kind of don't want to do this, but uh, when you sell a small item, a weapon gains two damage. I could just go crazy with a gumball machine. You know, we, we could literally just go crazy with that right now. And just have the gumball machine essentially just keep... ...giving us goodies. I don't think we can beat the scout trooper. We should probably go for the rogue scrapper. See, that costs us now two gold, but we get nine income, so we should be fine. But that one is just gonna... It's gonna soak all our gold away. I'm not sure how good that decision was, for sure. But I kind of like the idea because I, I just get infinite damage scaling right now. I mean, as long as I have money, but with every level up, I can increase, like, my income, maybe. Might be the thing to do. So, sell items. Well, first, we sell that. Sell this. I could level up. Okay, gain two income. If we have a property, we gain more, but we get five chocolate bars or gumballs. Yes. Because now, we're just going to boost this item further. Jesus Christ. Things are shaping up really good for me. Sell economic items. Well, show me what you got. <laughs> Hello, my friend. That is an ATM that gets me even more. And it's a property too. I made that same investment once. So that's a property. That's a better multicast. You? We get more shield. We could sell that. Check for another economy item. This is interesting because this is a shield item that essentially grows stronger. At the start of each day, get three spare change. So we need to buy the spare change. That's out of question. Because that would give us more spare change. We need to sell this and we need to buy the property. That's perfect now. We're good. So what, what's going to happen is the bird is going to triple heal. The triple heal is going to overheal us three times. By overhealing three times, this is gets pushed three seconds forward. Two, push the bird even more forward. Okay, here, bop, bop, bop. Now the bird heals for 10. At the same time, this gets triggered three times in a row as well. So we just completely buster blader him into pieces. And the stronger we can get the... Yo-yo over time, the better it is. The first time you use a large item each fight, adjacent items gain bonus healing. At the start of each fight, gain shield equal to your max health. No. Your weapons have damage equal to your income. Hmm. And I could technically put it like this and then just get some bonus heal. Okay, we're getting three spare change because with three spare change. 
I can boost the damage again. Hi, holy hell. I don't think we're going to lose a single round anymore, chat. So don't forget that we have this heal item here that continuously permanently gains plus one heal every single time triggered. So that also just gets stronger every single round. Oh, he just destroyed my damage item. I just... I mean, he's going to kill himself, so I guess we're good. Is he going to kill himself? Oh no, we're losing to the poison. I did not expect to lose it. I am I am genuinely unhappy about losing this in many, many ways. Okay, attend an economic seminar chat and get an economic item or skill. Get two economic items or skills. Okay, you have one income for each property you have. Cool. And we get the gym. Your weapons gain damage equal to this item's value. That's useless though. We don't need it. Sell small and large items. What can we get? I feel like we should probably kill the gumball machine at some point because it might it might take overhand. We'll see. Ted, thank you for the 20 months of support. Ted, good to see you there. Welcome to the Knights of the Round Stable. Welcome back. Greetings, everyone. Also on YouTube, TikTok, everywhere. Appreciate it. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves. That was definitely a minor mistake to get my ass beaten there. So this is this is the things you need to avoid. You can't you can't just lose like that. Defeat does not defeat. Yo yoed him, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget every trigger left or right item is a yo-yo trigger too. So we gotta get the yo-yo to also get crit now. Gain two income if you have at least 25 gold, get an additional two. More income. More income. I'm going to be rich. Okay, another economic seminar chat. Let's go. Crystal bonsai. When you buy this, get a spare change. Pretty please. Is now sell, 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 sell. Look at how much more damage we're getting. This is crazy. That stupid skill from the wolf boss. I did not know you can get this. Okay, get a skill that Pygmalion can only get. When you use a property, adjacent items get crit. Huh. Your properties have a crit? Yeah, so we're going to have the property get us more crit. Which gets our heals to heal harder, I guess. For now. And we're going to beat the mod squad. By the way, the gumball machine does not have to be in. The gumball machine could also be in my inventory. And I could actually put the other property out to heal more. That would be a thousand times better. We are officially a menace now. Consider that my bird is Bronx, guys. So the bird is not upgraded a single time. When you use another friend, this gains burn plus one for the find. The Ushvali bird is a friend, Chan. So we could actually put that. That's a tool. Ah, I thought it was actually not a tool. Okay, sell small items. Let's see. The Kukri is crazy because it gets damaged whenever we heal. But honestly, we have a damaged item, so we don't need it. What we would need is a second yo-yo. Charge adjacent small items for one second. When you win a fight, get a piggles. Charge. Okay, we don't need this. We, we, you know. So can I just, just like, just trying to find out what I want to do with this. For now. And we're still getting our gumballs, right? I think we should still get our gumballs. Get a small weapon. Okay, so here, get two piglets and upgrade all your piglets. I don't know what the piglets do, so show me. If your adjacent shield items force shield for the fight. Oh. So I can just sell them to boost my yo-yo even further. No way. No way. Ah, oh, it's so cute. King, love the D4bits. Thank you. There will be more to come. There's a campfire chat around the corner. But just right now, there's really nothing too much talk about, correct? Oh, he tried to one-shot me. That was scary. He actually one-shot me. Damn son. 
Well done. There's some really powerful crits on his side. Luckily, we have the money on our side. So level, 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 level. Uh, heal and regeneration items, please. Nothing we need. Nothing we need. Ah, oh, yes. The weights, ladies and gentlemen. This is so important that the weights get upgraded because that's more damage, more everything. We get a small... Now we get small items. We can sell these. That is a Knuckles upgrade. Uh, that, that's a yo-yo upgrade. Yo-yo upgrade doesn't do much in this case. Unless we would be getting a very scary yo-yo version. I can't beat the Infernal. I think the Infernal is just going to whoop our ass. So we're going to go for the four men. And if I get the cog, that would be good. Because then could use the cog to haste something. Look at that. Just down to 16 in no time. It's crazy. That does 150 damage, Chan. Per trigger. And it gets like three times triggered. Adjacent weapons gain damage for the fight. Adjacent shield items gain shield for the fight. Hmm. That triggers more, so it's not worth it to play the power sender. And right now, we're just using the squiggles to squiggle. Find any item in the bazaar. We don't really have the money to do much with that. So I want to get a small non-weapon item. At the start of each hour, gain 10 max health. You have income plus one. What? Can I just keep that in my inventory? That's it? How, how many just keep in your inventory items does this character have? Upgrade your leftmost heal item. Bird, bird, bird is the word. Now he has a basic of 15 at least. We, we need another property. We just need another property. We can't do this one property gameplay. What is, does the skill which is gray do? The skill that is gray is the skill with a bonus damage. When you sell a small item, gain bonus damage. That's how we get our yo-yo up. I mean, look at his life now with a yo-yo triple cast. That's why we need to get it to five cast because that would be instantly 500 damage plus. If we get the yo-yo to crit every single time, we are just... Well, you, you can imagine what then happens. That's why you should buy all small items to just sell them. Nah, we like we get enough small items. I think like overdoing it would not help us. We are we're better off like getting all the free small items we can. Which we do. We get our when we have fight, we get the pig ults. And we get our gumballs every hour. So I think that's already good enough. Sell items with a chance for upgrades. Oh no! I don't want to upgrade the gumball machine because the gumball machine doesn't do more gumballs. would rather sell it at some point. Uh, work at the docks. Get a small tool. Freeze both players' items for one second. Nope. And we're going to beat Joyful Jack. The gumballs cost me money. I know. But it's fine. Because that two money, I have 14 income. I don't need that two money. And for two money, getting plus plus two weapon damage every turn or every hour is worth it. I mean, essentially every day I get so much bonus money just like that. Like, look at that. That's that's another. I want to fight. I got a piggle. So I got another six attack bonus right now. Permanent six attack. Okay, freeze when you freeze shield. We could play the igloo instead of the fixer upper. Don't think that would be it. So we need a different property. We could get for the money tree instead of the fixer upper. The cash register update is useless. Hmm. I'm thinking about like doing the money tree. I mean, we could play the money tree instead of the pickles and also instead of the succulents. Uh, just to have another property. So we could do this here right now. For now, let's get another large item and check if there's anything better. Uh, that was when you heal, gain five max out. So that's obviously better. Hogwash. We're going to play Hogwash. You. 
And that's perfection now. So we have the heal for five with the yo-yo going crazy. We upgrade our leftmost heal item, which is Hawkwish, to essentially get more max health. And now we're juicing again max health. The um, fixer upper, when it triggers, actually boosts Hawkwish up. And we can change the positions of things. But technically, it would be perfect if I put this next to next to it. That's a bit less triggers on the yo-yo. But whenever we trigger the fixer upper, the fixer upper would increase also the crit damage, uh, the crit chance of the yo-yo. What's the small item you have in the stash? Bonus income. Uh, I can show you. Gives me bonus income. Did we not fight against this one? We fought against someone similar. Please, bird, trigger! Oh, holy Christ, that was clutch. I am very happy we won this one, but it was also way clutcher than I would like it to be. Okay, so this medal is at the start of each hour gain 10 max health. So we're also getting 10 max health on top of everything we're actually doing. So 10 max health and an income three spare change, and the gumballs that we then trade for damage. We can get some chocolate balls, uh, ch some chocolates. And every chocolate sold makes us stronger. Mm. We're going to get regeneration plus three, and then we're going to kill Dr. Vortex. I know Vortex can freeze, but technically the yo-yo triggers even if frozen. No, actually the yo-yo doesn't trigger if frozen, huh? Not the problem though. <laughs> you saw how like the bonus crit damage on the yo-yo goes crazy, right? This went up to 33% and just went out of control. This is a property chat. It does burn, freeze, and slow. Should we play the property instead of our shield property? Should we? Maybe? I mean, I kind of feel like this could be crazy. Get an item. Okay, get a weapon, gain two more income, get a heal item. A heal item can always be an upgrade. Yep. That's what we're talking about, chat. Heal item can always be an upgrade. Sell small items. Can be another yo-yo. Can be a yo-yo upgrade. If you want something big and okay. I don't have a clue what's happening here. I can explain, okay? Very simple, Brillex. We have this weapon called a yo-yo. The yo-yo triggers whenever an adjacent item triggers. The bird triggers every 3.8 seconds five times because we have two more properties, okay? That means the yo-yo is just gonna slap him silly. Then, as the yo-yo triggers and as the bird overheals us, the weights get our heal items more heal and our yo-yo more damage. And if we overheal, the weight is actually charging a second faster. Ta-da! This overheals us as well. Oh, and whenever we heal, we get 15 max HP while this is slowing and freezing the enemy. So as I said, pretty simple, kind of self-explanatory. Um, if you have any questions left, just feel free to ask. And then we sell all these small items because every small item we sell gives our weapon plus two damage. And now we're gonna get to the bronze tier junk section, which is interesting because what does the bronze tier junk section do? I can get this insect wings. Insect wings will reduce the cooldown here. This is regeneration. This reduce the cooldown of items. This gives your leftmost heal item plus five heal. Thank you very much. So it's bonus heal, cooldown, regeneration, bonus cooldown down to 3.5. Then we get another weapon. Then we get another crit chance. Crit chance and weapon to 25. We refresh this. Oh, and every sale obviously gives us the good old bonus damage anyways. Haste item gets more haste. We don't have a haste item. But we get the chocolate, and the chocolate again gives us even more damage. Move this back over. Fight the roaming isle before we do this. Oh, no hour has passed. Now the hour actually passes, and we get another gumball. Pufferfish builds go crazy. Yes, they do, but we're not currently playing Vanessa. We played Vanessa yesterday. We have a whole stream of that on YouTube. Uh, we're currently focusing on Pig to, like, kind of see what for crazy yo-yo builds we can pull off. 
Especially that you don't need double yo-yo to do things. It's, it's essentially the weightlifting weight lifting bird that does the main. Upgrade your leftmost weapon. Sure. Make a diamond chat. It's unnecessary because we have everything we need on it. That being said, there's no hurt in still doing that. Boost the damage further. And now we get experience for the right price or a large item. Large item could be an upgrade for Hogwash. So I'm going to get Hogwash probably. Sadly not. I mean, if we get an upgrade for this, we get more max health. I mean, you see we're at 3,150 max health already. And I just don't see how, like, anyone can can have us. I mean, he's trying to play one rifle. Look at how fast his rifle is. That's amazing. <laughs> he just got had. That's a pretty fast rifle, sir. How about my yo-yo triggering, like, five times in a row straight away and just slapping you silly? Sounds good? Sounds good. Now, let's sell two, 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 two attack. So nice. Large item. Try to get hogwash. Try to get hogwash. Didn't get Hogwash. Skib. Could buy myself 10 Gumballs to just boost the damage by another 20. But there's truly me just trying to get certain upgrades too. Oh, and we're definitely going to fight Lord Arkin. So Lord Arkin is a legendary boss who has crazy things you could be getting. And who also has powerful items against you. But with our heal and our damage, like we're just... Yo, yo, go! We just slap him silly. What do you get us? Ah, oh, burn both players. No, useless. And then upgrade your leftmost item. So the best upgrade we can get is weights. Because again, if the weights are upgraded, everything else gets more heal and more damage. This would be more max health though. And it's 30. So I guess I want to have the 30. And we sell this. We're going to go for economic items. When you buy this, get a spare change. We could sell the spare change. When you sell an item, give this more value. No. Nothing. And skills. Finally. I'm looking for skills so often. At the start of each fight, gain shield. No. When you use a weapon, reduce its cooldown by 4% for the fight. You do know what that means, chat. Correct? So, when you use an adjacent item, use this. I use this five times. That's an instant decrease of 20% cooldown. So, if everything goes the way you want it to, you're going to end up having a yo-yo with zero cooldown. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, watch, watch closely. Okay. So, we have this yo-yo with a 7.8 second cooldown. It's getting used five times here right now. So, now it's 7.2, Okay. Now it's 6.1. Now it's 5.6. So <laughs> if we would fight against someone that has the equivalent heal as I have or shielding, we essentially would end up with a yo-yo that just has a zero second cooldown and just triggers permanently. Oh no, chat. We can reduce the cooldown even further. When you level up, upgrade a property. Oh, I could get the weather machine fully leveled up. I should really take the knife tricks. I should, 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 should really take the knife tricks. But I want to have the preparation because I want to level up right now to get the weather machine fully crazy. Okay. Uh, we want a small shield item. Thank you very much. I should also start selling my spare change and everything. It was so busy. Okay, see, that's, that's diamond now, Chan. Because it freezes now everything and slows it so good. The properties gain value, we get more loot. Because that loot is always small items. That is going to be a cooldown reduction. That is going to be a cooldown reduction. So our bird is down to 3.3 seconds instead of 4 seconds. And that one gets more crit as well. And now we're going to show the octopus who's dad. Now I do know, Chad, I, I, wasted, I wasted one just to get that renovation up. But having a freeze for 2 seconds, come on. How can you say no to that? You just get slapped silly by a 600 damage per like so it's again 600 damage per Ushvali bird trigger I need nothing I get more regen I need heal regen item hey I could get an upgrade for the bird 
But you know what? We should actually go for three spare change. Because... Everything is damage. Get five chocolate bars or gumballs. Don't mind if I do. Because five chocolate bars or gumballs is... Another 20 damage on the yo-yo. CD can't be reduced past one second, Sally. Sounder interesting. But even one second is kind of badass. Okay, he's trying to one-shot me, Chad. Which is good, but I'll just rather one-shot him instead, okay? <laughs> nice try on that one-shot, brother. Appreciate the efforts, but listen. What if, instead of you, me, I do you? At this point, we could probably throw Hogwish away to get, like, a different one. But honestly, I wouldn't wouldn't even know which which one to get at this point. There's nothing... Nothing truly... Oh, diamond tier skills. Please enlighten me. So, your leftmost tool has multicast. That's crazy. Or, deal double damage of your last weapon. Your weapons have damage equal to your gold. Hmm... The first time you fought, no, okay, you know what? My leftmost tool has multicast. You know that one tool that's the craziest thing in the world because, oh yeah, it increases the heal of my heal so the damage of my damage is even more. And it now officially casts twice. And might have might have been might have been a little bit overkill. But listen, chat, I think that's fine. The truly craziest part right now with this is that you're just not running out of gold. Like, like even if I'm trying to run out, okay, cooldown reduction chat, so it's six percent now per. So even if I'm trying to run out of gold, it's just not happening. Get a heal item. T tea time. Okay, get five gumballs or chocolate bars. We almost made it to 400 damage. Position for better synergy. Nope. Uh, Bal, uh, you, you're forgetting that I need to have the big item or the large property next to the yo-yo for more crit. So we have the here. When you use a property, adjacent items get crit. So I need to have the weather machine next to the yo-yo to have the yo-yo essentially get like that 100% crit chance. Uh, also, the five times trigger is enough. I mean, look, we just we just slapped him silly. Ridiculous! Is that the second ten win in a row now? Yeah. Wait, weightlifting bird. Weightlifting bird. So this is why we couldn't move it. Property crit chance with then the bonus crit and the property giving the crit also to the Shivani bird. Otherwise, you couldn't do it. So that, that was needed.